In this clip I will study for the following function, fx equals 6 times x to the power 4 minus 8x to the power 3 plus 1. Try to find the sign schemes for the derivative, second order derivative, try to find the critical points and the inflection points. Uh, first of all, the derivative is given by 24x squared times x minus 1. As a straightforward calculation, so we see that uh, we have two stationary points, one at zero and one at one. Yeah, and the sign scheme is as follows. So if x is smaller than zero, we get a negative sign, and the sign will not change by passing through zero. And uh, on the right hand side of one, we have a positive. Derivative. So we see that the function decreases towards 0, and in between 0 and 1 it's decreasing, and it's increasing on the right of 1. So f is a differentiable function, so the critical points are all stationary, so the set of critical points equals the set of containing two elements, 0 and 1. So in the diagram above, we are complete, so we do not take into account any points for which the derivative does not exist. Well, it's clear that towards 1, the function is strictly decreasing, and after 1, it's increasing, so 1 is actually a global minimum. So f1 is the minimum value, and the value is given by f1 equals 6 minus 8 plus 1 equals minus 1. So 0 is not an extreme value since the... Now we try to find the inflection points of the function. So in order to find those, we need to compute the second order derivative. And the second order derivative is given by... 24x times 3x minus 2. So candidates for inflection points are found for those x's for which the f double prime x equals 0. So in this case we have two candidates and one is 0 and the other one is 2 over 3. Yeah, over here we have these are the only points at which the second order derivative equals zero. Well, the sign change is as follows on the left hand side. We have of zero, we get a positive second order derivative. In the middle, between zero and two over three, we get a minus sign. On the right hand side, we get a positive sign. So we have two sign changes, one in zero and one in two over three. So we have two inflection points, zero f zero and two third f in two-thirds. Yeah, so the inflection points are given by 0, 0, and 2 over 3 and minus 5 over 27. Minus 5 over 27. Well, here's a picture, a general picture, so now we can graph the function with help of those diagrams. So, here we have the x-axis and y-axis, And in 0, the function takes the value 1. We have a horizontal tangent line over there. In 1, we have a minimum, a global minimum. Also with a tangent line, with the horizontal tangent line, the function looks like this. Yeah, so in 2 over 3, we see that the behavior of the function goes from concave into convex, from a negative sign of the second order derivative into a positive sign of the second order derivative. And uh, the same holds for the value 0, where a convex function turns into a concave function. So we have a convex function on minus infinity 0 and on and on the interval 2 third infinity. 
and the function is concave on the remaining interval zero toothed.